To help me, I've teamed up with parasitology researcher Judy Mwangi. Kind of felt like uh, a good idea when we were planning this, but now we're actually doing it. It seems quite strange. Have you ever done anything like this before? Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a tip-off that a meat inspector has found some infected beef. But to collect it, we need to drive into one of Nairobi's tougher neighborhoods. It looks quite a rough area out there. Oof. So what happens now? Do we go to the slaughterhouse? No, we cannot walk to the slaughterhouse. We have to wait for him to come and bring us the sample. OK. Yes. So he's definitely got a sample, has he? He has now. Okay. Right. Been lucky. Lucky. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you were going to say uh, no. Tragically, they haven't found anything. Mm. And will they let me into the slaughterhouse? No, they will not. They're nope. very sensitive about such issues. Okay. And, and what def- about filming? Presumably, they won't. That is a definite no. No. Now we've got infected meat. We take it to the lab so Judy can find the tapeworm cysts. So this is a cyst? Hmm? This is a cyst, yes. It's not all I was expecting. I was expecting something quite hard. Mm. This is quite jelly-like, isn't it? It is jelly-like, because if it's hard, it's calcified, so it's not viable. I'm not particularly keen on eating raw meat, so Judy is cutting away as much tissue as possible, just leaving the tapeworm cyst itself. It kind of looks like a partly fried egg, doesn't it? It does, sunny side up. Mm. Inside this cyst is a tiny living tapeworm larva. It's what I've come all the way to Kenya for. And Judy has found three of them. Is that the right sort of number? Uh, I think so. One looks a bit dodgy. So one's a bit dodgy, two of them you think are okay? Yes. And that kind of Hopefully just increases one. the risk one of them will take? Yes, indeed. What happens if two of them take? The better. <laughs> better, better food. Can I, yes. can I offer you one? No, you're not right. Back at the hotel, the time has come for me to give myself tapeworm. I'm feeling mildly apprehensive. I think I'm confident that it should be safe. It is a very strange thought that there are millions of people who are infected by parasites who don't want to be, and I'm about to deliberately infect myself. But um, I hope it's not something I'm going to regret. Cheers. It's like jumping over a cliff. Here we go. Ah! There they go. In just a few seconds, the tapeworm cysts are in my stomach. That's full of acids that normally help protect us from disease. But the tapeworm uses our defenses to its advantage. The acids dissolve the outer case of the cyst, releasing the worm inside, which then passes into my intestines, looking for a home. My time in Kenya is over now. I've done what I needed to do. Now to go home. <laughs>